Hey players, how you doing? Welcome back to Player's Guide. I'm your host of Player's Guide for this episode, Ted, and on this episode I'm going to be talking about the rarest, the most valuable, and some uncommon and underrated games for the Xbox 360 North American Library. So on my list, you're going to find a lot of games that appeal to more of a niche market or niche hobbyists, or um, they don't have the largest market, and that's why a lot of these games are fairly rare or uncommon. I also do want to say that this is fairly early in collecting for a console like the 360, so this list could possibly change over time, but this will be a good... Um, a guideline to follow um, if you're out looking for Xbox 360 games or thinking about collecting for the 360 because most likely these games uh, will be viewed as some of the most rarest and uncommon games on the console. So let's start things off with the top 10 rarest games on the Xbox 360. Number one, I believe, would be El Chavo Kart. Um, this game was released with limited markets. Um, it's based on a cartoon series that's not all that well known. I believe this game is also fairly hard to come by on the PS3 as well. Next up is F1 2014. Uh, this is a game that also did not get a wide release. Uh, one of the reasons why is because Formula One racing is not as popular in North America as it is in Europe. So if you're looking for a European copy, it'll probably be a little bit easier to find. Monster Jam Path of Destruction. So this game was released on a few different consoles. Um, however... I find that a lot of the Monster Jam games, Monster Truck games in general are a little bit uncommon, hard to find, but the Monster Jam brand uh, is more popular and more desirable, and I believe more people hold on to the Monster Jam games, especially if you're a fan of Monster Trucks, than the, the, the generic Monster Truck games that are out there. So a lot, you're going to find a lot of different Monster Jam stuff is hard to come by. I know my son's really into Monster Trucks right now, and I was looking up a uh, Monster Jam DVD to get him, and even that is uh, difficult to come across. College Hoops 2K8. This is one that is an uncommon game on the PS3 and even harder to find on your Xbox 360. Just Dance 2019 wasn't released all that long ago, wasn't received very well uh, because it's such a late release. You're going to find, even though it was released on just about every console from the Wii to the PS4, the current generation of consoles is the more desirable version to own. And since we're well into the lifespan of the PS4 and Xbox One with new consoles from both Microsoft and Sony on the horizon, uh, it's no wonder that these games were not mass produced or sold very well on the previous generation of consoles. NCAA Basketball 10. Now this is one that is also a rarity on the PS3 and for the same reason. That is because EA did not have the rights to use the likenesses of uh, the players in the NCAA League and this caused a lawsuit and the end of the NCAA series. That goes for the football franchise as well. Asterix in the Olympic Games. So Asterix is a cartoon character or comic character that is more popular in Europe than in North America. So this game did not get a very wide release and did not sell a ton of copies. We're also talking about an Olympic Games game that is competing with the more popular franchise of Mario and Sonic. Although that is on a different console, um, I don't think that there was a lot of people looking to play this game. Black College Football Experience. So this game was met with poor reviews, uh, not visually impressive for the time on the Xbox 360. 
Um, it also wasn't targeting the most inclusive market and competing against games like Madden and, and uh, other NFL games or even the NCAA games, which are rare. Um, this one was kind of destined to not have the best sales uh, because it didn't have the largest market that it could have reached. Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. This is an uncommon game on the Wii U as well. Um, this is a rare game on the 360, but you know, I don't know that it's that much harder to find because we're talking about the 360 here. There is not really a ton of really rare stuff like there is on some of the older consoles. And I've talked about this a little bit uh, um, when reviewing the rares and uncommons on uh, the more recent consoles. Anyways, this game is very sought after for fans of the Cabela uh, hunting series. This is one of the most recent games, so there isn't much out there for uh, hunting fans who are gamers to play right now other than this game, which um, did get some very good reviews. So a lot of people who are fans of hunting and hunting games are probably holding on to this one, uh, making it a little bit harder to come by. So uh, coming in at 10th and last place on the list is Raiden Fighters Aces. So this was an exclusive game to the 360, and uh, it's one that is very sought after by fans of the shoot 'em up genre. So before I get to the uncommon and underrated games, let me tell you about a game that is really hard to come by. It could top the list as the rarest. I don't know. You guys let me know if uh, you can find a copy. I do have a picture here of a copy, but I wasn't able to find any online in eBay for almost the past month. And the game I'm talking about is FIFA 19. So keep an eye out for that one. It could be the rarest Xbox 360 game, um, but I'm not too sure. I can't find out much information or much about the availability of this game, which leads me to believe it is that rare. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Now for the lesser known rares, undervalued games, and uh, uncommons. The Bass Pro Shop, The Strike. This is a game that came with a fishing rod. If you can get it in box with a fishing rod, it's even more rare. It's much harder to find than just the disc or the uh, complete in box copy. Operation Darkness, NCAA Football, 14, King of Fighters, 13, Raiden, IV, The Simpsons Game, Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon, Cabela's Survival, Shadows of Katami. This is one that's even more harder to find if you can find it in the big box with the gun. Battle, Fantasia, The Blitz, The League 2, Spectral Forces 3, Konami Classics Volume 1, Bullet Witch, Akei Katana, MotoGP 14, DuckTales Remastered. DuckTales Remastered was a game that um, they stopped producing physical copies of, and then they took it off the digital market, which made the physical copies uh, much more in demand. Now, the Wii U version of this game is more sought after, but because the 360 also experienced this, it's desirable on the 360 too. Um, that's it for now. In the future, I may do an updated Xbox 360 video, um, but as it looks like right now, the availability, the value, and the rarity of the games on the list, these are the ones that you're going to want to look for if you're a collector or a big fan of the Xbox. If you are a big fan of the Xbox, check out last week's video on Xbox collecting. If you're a video game collector or retro gamer, please subscribe to the channel and check out the Player's Guide Discord, which I will link below. That's it for this episode of Player's Guide. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel. Keep it retro. Later, players. Mm -hmm.